You know, I, uh, I imagine cichlid keepers are a little bit like, uh, like parents. They, uh, they see what they want to see, and very often uh, they have some bias when they look at their fish. So I'm just wondering if you see what I see, because what I'm starting to see with these fish are some colors that are really starting to pop and that have me pretty excited. Let me show you what I'm talking about, and you tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, don't forget to sub, hit that bell, and uh, share, rate, and all that good stuff. All right, let's get going. Let's go ahead and start with this red shoulder peacock. Uh, certainly one of my favorite fish. Picked him up at a local fish store. And uh, he was looking a little dull for the first few months. And then all of a sudden he just sort of exploded. And that, uh, that red going to orange there on the shoulder, complemented by the blue face and the bright electric blue under the mouth, and uh, certainly that, that fringe on that dorsal and that bright blue on the dorsal that goes to the tail is just gorgeous. This Malawi gar was, uh, was picked up by, uh, from, uh, from the cichlid shack. Got him as a very small, small fry. Had to keep him in the 30 gallon for quite a few months before I could bring him over to the 60. But as you can see from the patterns that are forming in the dorsal and the tail and of course the anal fin, you can see some beautiful patterns starting to take, take, uh, take shape. And I'm, uh, I'm really, really got some high hopes for this fish. He's very hardy. He's an F1, which I guess means he's one generation away from Lake Malawi. And just a beautiful specimen of a Malawi gar. And uh, when he fully colors up, he's going to be spectacular. There's no doubt about that. You can see the beginnings of it in the, uh, in the finnage. As you know, sand divers are one of my favorite fish. If you've ever seen them uh, dive in the sand, it's pretty spectacular. This is one that I picked up actually from, um, from Tampa Bay Cichlids. And you can see the, um, the metallic colors around the eyes, the gills, the face and uh, the patterns that are forming in the, in the dorsal, and a beautiful tinge of blue in the tail, along with a great pattern, complemented by the spots on the side of the body. Just a beautiful specimen, beautiful example of a sand diver that was sent to me as a replacement for one that turned out to be a female, one of those guaranteed males that Tampa Bay offers from time to time. Well, this one was replaced, and I did, in fact, get a male. I'm very happy with this one, and... Uh, Really looking forward to watching him become just a large beast. They are a bit of a, a goofy fish, tend to uh, be relatively peaceful, and they do get very, very large. So uh, let's move on to, the, um, to my next fish, one of my favorites here in the tank, as you very well know, and that's the sulfur head. And uh, this is one that I picked up at a local, at a local fish store. Uh, for next to nothing, I think under 10 bucks. And you can see the blaze on the forehead that spills over into the front of the dorsal. Just a beautiful example of a fish. I love the, um, the, how the dorsal ends in blue. And, uh, and of course, the colors around the face, the blues and greens around the face, and that lower, lower jaw area, the body color, and the patterns that you see. And of course, that beautiful anal fin with those egg spots. Just a, um, just a spectacular fish. So there you have it. That's what I'm seeing going on in that 60 gallons. Got me pretty excited. Maybe I'm uh, reading a lot into it. Maybe I'm uh, seeing what I want to see. You know, the, like the proud parent who uh, says how beautiful their baby is and you kind of cringe a little and go, mm, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> but you don't say anything, do you? <laughs> At any rate, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to rate, share, comment, and uh, you know, follow on Instagram and all that good stuff. You know, you know the routine. I'll post it all below. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are appreciated, my friends.